The following was extracted from the Bristol Courier Times newspaper. From an article, written by Louise Harbach, Courier Times staff writer. The article was published on Sunday, September 26, 1976. The article was titled, Warminster Puppeteer Combines Hobby, Career. The photo was by Courier Times staff photographer, Louise Harbach. Her first show was for the neighborhood kids in Concord Park in Trevos. The music was provided by her next-door neighbor, who hauled the piano to the back door. The puppets were all handmade creations. Buoyed by enthusiastic reviews from more than 100 children, Alice Swan staged her next show, only to have the stage fall apart. But that didn't deter the Warminster resident, who now lists puppetry as one of her vocations, along with teaching and social work. There we were, in the backyard, yelling as loud as we could, because we didn't have microphones, laughs Mrs. Swan. But the laughter from the kids, and adults too, kept us going. When this Warminster resident first became interested in the world of puppets more than 15 years ago, she and her partner, Nancy Schmally of Southampton, had trouble even finding puppeteers who could teach them the art. So, with the directions from a women's magazine, they staged their own show, to keep their children and others in the neighborhood occupied during the summer months. Now there's the Quaker Village Puppeteers in the Delaware Valley, the Puppeteers of America, and the International Puppeteers Association. Like the characters in Mrs. Swan's productions, the world of puppet productions has grown by leaps. Puppeteers like Mrs. Swan find that they're now in demand for appearances at hospitals, mental institutions, schools, and playgrounds. But still, the old stereotypes persist, that puppets are only for very small children. Not true at all, answers Mrs. Swan, who works, part-time, as a social worker for the Ben Salem Township Schools. A child of two or three is almost too young for a puppet show. A puppet show, if it's done well, can even appeal to students in junior or senior high. For her hobby which has turned into a profession, Mrs. Swan and her partner, Mrs. Schmally, write their own scripts, ones, she emphasizes, that we can enjoy too. Right now she's working on an African folktale using marionettes, the most technical puppets there are. Because of her work in the schools, Mrs. Swan is well aware of how puppets can be used in therapy and in learning. When we do a school assembly program, the social worker explains, what the children are seeing is educational entertainment. Although the plot is entertaining, it also imparts a lesson. When she brings her puppets to Eastern State School and Hospital, she helps the psychiatrists who record the answers children give to the questions Mrs. Swan's puppets ask. I find that puppets are wonderful tools to use with children in special education classes, she continues. Often these children are hyperactive, and puppets help to calm them down. When they're working on a puppet project, they become absorbed completely in the project, and at the same time, they're learning new skills, such as muscular coordination and reading. The mentally disturbed and the retarded are not the only children to benefit from the fantasy world of puppets, Mrs. Swan relates. Her puppets have performed in pantomime for deaf classes and for the blind, who love the plays with lots of dialogue. Afterwards, says the educator, these children love to feel the puppets, and believe me, they can remember their names without any prompting. Mrs. Swan will be sharing her love of puppetry at Bucks County Community College this fall, where she will offer a non-credit course in the fundamental techniques of puppetry. The program will meet from 4.30 to 6.30, for eight Thursdays, beginning September 30th. The fee, of which half is for materials, is $35 per person. Students will be taught the practical application of puppets, including construction, script writing, staging, and performance. The course is primarily for child therapists, nurses, recreation counselors, and teachers. Mrs. Swan's course will deal with puppetry as a teaching medium and as a therapeutic tool. The program has been approved for one in-service credit by the Pennsylvania Department of Education.